When you look at Oliver Stone's filmography, you think well, he's done war films, he's done political films, he's done controversial films, he's done biopics. Do you feel like Snowden is a great marriage of everything that he's done? Oh, 100%. I, I don't think there's another filmmaker alive that could have made this movie properly the way that Oliver did. This thing that the government is doing right now goes against what my country stands for. We're lucky to have the right to do that. Not everyone in the world lives in a country where, where they even have that privilege to question their government. And, and I think it is patriotic to do that, and, and, and that's what Oliver does in his movies, and he's, he's really the only one that does. Why would you say it was more difficult, perhaps, than other films you've made? This is a tough movie to get made because the situation is also alive. It can change at any moment, and we don't know until the movie comes out. We feel we threaded the needle, told the story of his life before, during, and after these events. And we think we dealt with it honestly because we went and spent time with him. I think we're pretty close to close to what he went through. It shows us that that Snowden always intended to be a patriot. That was his goal. He wanted to serve his country. He believed in his government. It's only in the pursuit of that ambition to serve his country that he was made privy to all of this horrifying information that he felt he had to do something about. The job was to support the telling of the story of Edward Snowden. And that story was beautifully laid out in the script by Kieran and Oliver. What did you learn from observing someone like Oliver Stone? He told he knows really what he wants. He's put in so much prep before going into the movie that, you know, when he, when he gets on set, he knows exactly what he wants. So if you're not doing it, he's not afraid to tell you. Is it right that he brought a hacker on to set to show you how easily so he could easy. be hacked? Well, that was day one, I think. He brought a guy in. Um, that uh, just showed you how easy it was to hack into your bank account, into your computer, and it was... Terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> Doing this film, did it make you question technology in any way? Because I kind of walked out very paranoid. <laughs> I still have a computer, I still have an iPhone, I have band-aids over my cameras, but at the end of the day, you sort of endorse this um, behavior when you're disempowered, when you don't have the information. But what mm -hmm. Snowden did for us is give us that information, and now at least we're empowered enough to know I know they may be recording me with this microphone, but I'm choosing this instead of it being done behind my back without the knowledge of choice. Privacy used to be a human right, and it's yeah. not a human right anymore, and that's something that we, we should start talking about. Think of it as a Google search, except instead of searching only what people make public, we're also looking at everything they don't. Emails, chats, SMS, whatever. Yeah, but which people? The whole kingdom's not white.